hi guys you are welcome to this channel and thank you for hooking up with me again my name is faith please just make sure that you subscribe to this channel you realize that you're pregnant for the first time and you're going to have a baby the joy is usually overwhelming we are so happy oh god i'm going to be a, a mother or i'm going to be a father if your wife is pregnant so we are so excited but nobody tells you about the challenges of raising a child and trust me raising a child can be very very tasking like it requires all your energy all of your energy like emotionally psychologically physically you know even your money like financial aspect of it it takes every part of you to raise a child a lot of us sometimes just think about it you know we are just concerned that do we have the ability to raise good children you know these thoughts just creep into your head you know once in a while and you start questioning yourself like will you be able to raise well-behaved children are you training them all properly are you sure you are doing a good job are you doing things right you are just concerned you just want to know what to do and you already know that's one of the things i like to do on this channel talk about our major challenges as parents as whoever life challenges and the whole essence of that is so that we can learn and be able to face these challenges and then grow in the process and become better persons and that is why i always encourage you to please drop your comments i also want to learn from you if you feel that you have you know a contrary opinion or you have an addition or something drop it let's learn from you so this video is basically about raising well-behaved children <music> it's not enough to just know what to do you should also know how to do it so number one tip that i'm going to be talking about is start early it is very important for you to catch them young if you are going to be able to control and instill the right discipline in your children then you need to catch them young you need to take advantage of their formative years the early stage of their lives when they are still developing they are developing a lot of things part of training and discipline is is talking when you are breastfeeding your baby you are saying things you are telling the baby him or her what to do what he should not do what whatever it is part of raising a child to be saying things that you want to see in the life of that child even when the child is not able to do anything at all yet teach them the best ways to handle their emotions it's also very important that we explain the consequences of their action let them know the benefit of the alternative you are giving them so it is very important that you start training them very early don't say that eh, until when they are six years see by the time a child is six years the child has already formed most of his or her core values in life so my second tip is be consistent you really need to be consistent the moment you tell them that something is wrong and that they should stay off it don't ever tell them yes or permit them to do it i know this can be very challenging especially in some situations like i've had time that i told my i told my children not to do something and then on another occasion i, I was tempted to tell them okay just go and do it because i just wanted to let them off me there was a time i told them you don't watch the television at a particular time of the day at that time on another day i was very busy and they were all over me i just wanted something that would take them away at that moment i was tempted to tell them to go and watch the tv but i had to call myself to order that no if i tell them to go and watch that tv today now tomorrow i can't tell them again that no this period of the day you don't watch tv they are going to question me and that's how it starts they start questioning your authority they, they start questioning your instructions that's the consequence when you are not consistent anything you teach a child teaching them to be respectful to always respect other people's rights 
never to hurt others to always show sympathy don't come back and tell them something contrary to what you have taught them before tip number three be loving it is in the nature of children to mess up Sometimes they can be really frustrating, but be loving. Always remember that they are growing and they are learning. They are just learning a lot of things. It can be really challenging and time consuming to get them to kind of internalize most of these teachings that you are giving them, most of this discipline that you are giving them, most of this training. You need to give them time. Be patient and be loving. Even when they are wrong and you are correcting them, please show love. You correct them in love. And that is a major difference between a child that turns out to be rebellious and a child that takes instructions. Even when you have to punish them, do it with love. When you are punishing them, explain things to them in love. Let them know that even though mommy is punishing me now, even though daddy is punishing me now, he or she still loves me. And when you observe that your children are already sticking to instructions that you give them, don't just take it for granted. Celebrate them for their positive change. It's not easy to grow. Let them know that you are happy. It is not only when they are wrong that you'll be shouting, screaming the roof off your house. Let them know that you appreciate their efforts to improve too. It encourages them to do more. The fourth and the final tip is set good examples be the kind of person you want your children to be i think this is the most challenging part of training a child really because it is very easy to give a child instructions don't do this do that this is the right thing to do this is not the right thing to do just try to do all of those things yourself you will know that it's not easy the time I told my son not to be throwing things in the house anytime he's hungry, it happened to me. He got me hungry and I was just pissed off and I just, I think it was his shoes. I wanted to help him to wear his shoe that day and you know, he just messed up the whole lace, the shoe lace and everything. And I got, I got pissed off like, just take it, go, go, go and give your daddy, go and give, you know, like that. The boy looked and was like, mommy? You told me not to be throwing things because I am hungry. Now you are doing the same. The truth is, when he said those words, I got angrier. But I had to give myself brain. Like if you don't want to lose it here, couple yourself. I had to apologize. I apologized. I'm, I'm so sorry. It is very wrong to throw things. Whatever you tell them not to do, make sure you don't do it yourself. I mean, they say, be the change you want to see in the world. Now, be the change you want to see in your child. It is very necessary if you want your children to take your words seriously. When you tell them something and you do the opposite of it, you leave them confused. To them, you don't even take yourself serious. So they don't need to take you serious. And the, the truth is, children learn by action. By what they see you do they learn faster by what they see you do not just by mere words and children of nowadays <laughs> not like when we were growing up anytime anybody gave us instruction the next line of action was just to obey like obedience follows instruction now these children we ask for reasons why they should follow what you are saying they want you to explain. You give them one instruction, they give you like 10 questions. So you really need to know what you're doing. You can't be teaching your children to be respectful, to be appreciative, and they have never heard you say thank you. They have never heard you say, I am sorry. How do you want them to get it? So when you are teaching them theory, the words of your man, show them practical. Let them know that you believe in what you are saying and that you are serious. That's the best way to get them to take you seriously too. Finally, you back everything you do with prayers. So that as you are putting in efforts, 
as you are sacrificing your time your everything to make sure that you train them well god himself will back you up strengthen you to make those efforts yield positive results i hope these tips are helpful and i also pray that we get all the help that we need to raise well-behaved children thank you for watching this video please don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and share with your family and friends tell your friends to tell their friends to subscribe to this channel thank you so much see you in my next video